What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. Uh, today, I want to talk about uh, the pH of our soil. Uh, my pH is very low. So last year, I did a soil test, and I'll put a a, a screenshot here for you guys to see um, that my pH uh, was very low. And with me having a low pH, you know, I need to correct that. Okay, so. I know a lot of people use um, lime to correct the pH, but there's one product that I was doing the research on and found out that long, long time ago, you know, uh, our farmers used to used to use uh, this product for you know increasing their pH or lowering their pH, and us as DIYers, you know, I I felt like you know, this is uh, uh, extra uh, or another arsenal that we can use if we can't get lime or if we're on a budget and we can't, we can't get lime, then you can use this product. So without further ado, let me show you guys the product that I am talking about here. All right, guys. So the product that I'm talking about is baking soda. Now, I know you all have baking soda at your home if you don't have a baking soda in your in your house then you know you can go to a giant and get one of these or even walmart okay so um all you need for this is uh you need a teaspoon okay and i'm gonna use three teaspoons per gallon i have three thousand square feet so I'm going to use three gallons of water and just a teaspoon, three teaspoons of this. And that's it. That's all you need, guys. That's all you need. And um, what you do is you, you, you mix that. And, and, and with that, this can increase your pH or can lower your pH. Okay. So it doesn't matter uh, what your pH is. You can always use this baking soda. And, and that will increase or lower your pH. Now, in my case, my pH is low, very low. So I'm gonna use this to increase my pH, okay? So what I'm gonna do is use a teaspoon right here, and I'm just gonna do three teaspoons. I will dissolve it in here before I pour it into my backpack sprayer and fill the rest with water, so. Um, I'm making a mess here, but I'm gonna use, uh, as a matter of fact, let me get, let me get another bucket and I'm gonna dissolve this in there. So I'm just gonna pour this water in here. And then I'm gonna do, One, two, three. Just gonna dilute that. Make sure you mix this very well, dilute it. Very well. And then, got my backpack spray here. Then I'm just gonna pour this in. Okay. And then I'm gonna fill the rest with water. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Um, and then once you're done, all you gotta do is just water it in and 
call it a day. Now, uh, I'm expecting rain uh, tomorrow, early tomorrow. Um, and in the past next couple of days, I'm expecting rain. So I'm not gonna water this in, you know, and plus it's, it's seven o'clock. You know, I'm trying, trying to get rid of the fungus I have on my lawn. So I'm not gonna water this in today. And uh, I'm gonna do this, uh, I'll let the rain, you know, water this in for me tomorrow. And then uh, we'll, we'll check the, um, uh, we'll do another soil test in, in the near future and see if this process works. Now, you wanna probably do this maybe two or three times a year, you know, just so that, you know, to be on the safe side, that is my own opinion. Um, you, you want, probably wanna do this two or three times a year to adjust or increase your pH if you know, you're like me and your pH is low or if you have a high pH and you're trying to bring it down. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment. And um, please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Um, make sure you turn on your notification bell so that when I post a video, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.